I like to know where people stand so I know how to treat you accordingly. They be trying to do it, I'm just doing me. Yeah. I'll be working hard, they just want it free. Be competitive with yourself. Hey, what's going on? It's Jay Sean for another video. So there was a video I put out about my first experience getting, uh, well, I don't know how I labeled it exactly, but I bought a Louis Vuitton jacket, right? I never bought Louis Vuitton clothes, just like little pouches, wallets, purses, that type of stuff, never clothes, right? So I bought a jacket and this jacket was, for me, it was it was up there in price range because it was, I knew that the stuff was costly, but I had a, a price range in my mind that I wanted to stick with. And it actually like more than doubled uh, what my intentions were. So I, the thing that kind of threw me off one was the price. The build quality and stuff was nice. You have to understand that in that world, uh, as far as designer and fashion goes, you're never going to pay what you think is something is necessarily worth, obviously. Well, that's with anything in this world. But for me, it was more or less about um, the fit. I wasn't 100% happy with how it fit, which sounds crazy with the fact that I still proceeded to go with the purchase, but I don't know. I just like so many things about it, but there was just a couple of things that really was kind of a deal breaker for me, but I was kind of convincing myself that I'll deal with it. Long story short, uh, some people asked me about um, uh, an updated video of the alterations that were done to that jacket. So the jacket was altered in Louis Vuitton themselves. They have a person who works there that does alterations, and they're on there on certain occasions, etc. I did not know that they actually have somebody that does that. So coming from a person who has things altered, like suits to jeans to other things, I thought that was very interesting because when I show you the jacket, there are some things about the jacket that concern me that made me feel as though I wasn't confident in how they could possibly alter it. And I'm going to show you that in a second because some of y'all asked me to give you an update. So I want to show you and kind of try to show you as close as possible. It's a little difficult right now because my third angle up here or second angle, whichever one it is, uh, my overhead where I can get a little closer and show you something and maybe in finer detail. My battery, it died. And then now I don't know where I put them. I, I don't I have no idea. I had like a whole group of them together and now I don't I don't really don't know where I, I put them. So uh, this is the garment bag or whatever you want to call it. Not that it really matters, but I'm just showing it to you. This is the sleeves. So the the issues that I had with the jacket was this. One, it was actually a little wide on the shoulder seam, right? Let me do this angle. Hold on. This shoulder seam right here, my shoulder was a little too far in. So this is the problem. With the size that I wanted, if I went down one whole size, the entire jacket, like I always have a problem with the sleeves for my body size for some reason. I comfortably wear a medium in like regular U.S. brands, right? But I notice no matter what, usually for, I, I don't look like I have like a thick neck or I'm that big up here. But for some reason, when I wear a medium, the stuff tends to be tight around this area of my upper body and my neck. And my sleeve, my arms, I guess, aren't the longest arms, but they tend to be, the sleeves on the garments usually tend to be too long for me. I don't like it. I like it a little tighter on my arms or shorter and a little more tailored into this area. You know what I'm saying? I want it to have more of a slightly tailored fit for most of my clothes now. So with that being said, this jacket was nice, but it was a little big in part of the arm area, most of it, and the body. So this is not cut like some H&M clothes where it's very tailored and contoured. It's not cut like that. It's, I mean, it's a bigger jacket. It's not made to be like that, but I wanted it like that. So um, they the way they trimmed it, I'm going to show you or try to show you where they cut it because if you look at this pattern, you're going to notice right at the edge of the sleeves, you see the pattern that like the 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 design pattern, like how it is like this, the way they made this jacket from factory, it matches on both sides. It's the exact, so you see like the little edge right here, the pieces coming out, and then you see these little flower things in the circle. So remember that pattern, pointy flower circle, pointy flower circle, right? So if you look here, you see, it's the same repeating pattern. There you go. Pointy flower circle it's the same throughout the arms so 
when they were going to cut into the sleeves originally on the bottom, I thought they were going to bring it in. It just looked weird the way they were showing me because I needed some of the sleeves itself taken in this way. And because there's piping, I think it's called piping, but this is like a, see, it's like a kind of like bulges out like a 3D piping. And there's also piping here. And if it ain't called piping, just figure it out. You know what I'm trying to say, right? They actually cut part of the sleeve up here. They brought this in. So they took a little length from the top and brought this in. And they also took some of the body out of the arm. Let me see. In this area, all the way down the whole sleeve. And they cut into this, the body here, this seam, where there's also piping. Now, as I'm showing you this, at least the, the way I can show you in this manner, you can't tell that they cut anything. It looks factory. Like, that's what I'm really liking. So, honestly, I wouldn't have taken this to a regular tailor. I wouldn't have felt comfortable. Now, if you open this up, some of y'all asked what the inside looks like. I'm going to show y'all real quick. So, if you look, it's kind of like this silkiness inside. Um, it says, like, Louis Vuitton on the pocket, etc. Now, with this, hopefully you can see because it, it looks dark on the camera. You can see how they, or I can tell, where they tried to shrink right here. You can see how it's a little bunched up. It's not a problem at all. I'm not complaining. I'm just showing you, you could tell where they altered it. It is like some, a little bunched up fabric, a little bit. But other than that, um, so you, for example, see this material, instead of this material being the right side, you see how it's kind of like layered and folded up. It's like they had too much material and they couldn't shrink the material, so they just kind of like folded it over like this to kind of tighten it up and then sewn it in. This is where they cut away from the actual jacket and there's extra lining left. That's why it looks like that. So I'm just showing you this so you can kind of get an idea of how the alterations look. It looks very professional. Um, there is an inside pocket here too, if you wanted to know, on the bottom part. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no really... I mean, I can put it on. I just don't know what that's going to show you in the video. Um, let me, here, I'll just put it on. I wanted the sleeves a little tighter, but I didn't get them tighter. Um, not the sleeves, the, um, what is it called? The, uh, the wrist. I think I told him. I don't remember if I actually got to tell him that. That's why. I, but, hold on, let me see. Ooh, it's hot right now. It's hot right now because it's not the season to be wearing this. Never even really got to wear this. I don't know if you can tell based on the last video, but 100% the sleeves are shorter, for sure. You can easily see like my watch or when I go like this, you can see how my arms are stretched. When I stand up straight, it goes back to like my normal wrist. Um, the arms, way tighter. The arms used to be kind of like big here and swoop, uh, swoop up and um, it was kind of more baggy here. It's way tighter. Now here, it's just the way the, the, the jacket is cut or designed. I would have preferred it to be even cut harder lined in here, but based on how the jacket's already made, they did, they did bring this in, but it's not like a super contour fit, but they brought all this part in. So now the arm, it doesn't feel sloppy. Before it felt sloppy, just wearing it, I would look down and be like, dang, it feels a little sloppy. So, and the crazy thing, I ain't even get to really wear this jacket. I think I actually did wear it one time, and um, but other than that, I didn't even wear it because the seasons changed, and then it was it was going through a phase of me just trying to get it altered and leaving it and all that stuff. It didn't take long. Let me just show you. Hopefully, you can see how it fits now. Like I said, they even cut a little into my shoulder because my shoulder actually was, I mean, this part was actually a little further down, like maybe a quarter inch to half inch maybe, um, and it made me look like I was swallowed in the jacket a little bit, only in this part. But as you can see, my arms are a lot more fitted. Again, this type of jacket ain't meant to be super tight, but right here, it used to be a lot bigger right here. So yeah, if you're interested in the jacket and you don't like some of the fit as far as what they got, especially from a place like that, you can get it altered. Never knew that before, but it's legit. Um, I think it took like less than a week to get it done. I had to drop the jacket off and set the appointment and, and stuff like that. But for me, in my personal experience, I never knew that that even existed, you know? So it's good that it does. Uh, I know a lot of designer brands are cut different. Like some Balenciagas have a big boxy like that, you know, real fashion-y type of look where it's like oversized type of style that they got going on now. If that's not your style, I mean, you might be able to get it altered to a degree where it fits you the way you like it personally, you know? So that's kind of how I'm approaching certain things. I don't like how all their clothes fits, but I'm open-minded now more than before because I know I can get something altered. A shirt, 
a sweater you think is kind of easier to alter, which it probably is, but something like this, especially where it's like this leather material and all these different piping and the stitching and two different materials here, I really wasn't confident in the beginning of how well they're going to be able to do it. I was like, are you in my mind? I was like, are you sure that you can do this? Because what happened was my advisor, when I was trying it on, I was saying like, I like the jacket, but I kind of feel like it's a little too big in this area. And then she was like, well, you know, we can get it altered. And when she said that, I was really kind of blown away because I was like, really? Like, I didn't even think that was a real option. You know, I never heard that, but I never also purchased any type of clothes from a Louis Vuitton store. But now that I know it, there may be a shirt or a sweater or something along the lines that I may be interested in. And I may not like how it fits in this portion. And maybe they can do that for me, too, and bring the sleeves in. Again, with Louis Vuitton, especially how you see the patterns, they do the same thing with purses on both sides. If you look, the patterns are equal in how they're distributed. The jacket sleeves are exactly the same way. The way that the diamond here, <clears throat> if you see, like, the patterns, how it's cut off here, and you see this little flower thing right here. They're going to be, it's the same. It's the same. It's a repeating pattern. So, and that's how you see a lot of fake stuff because there is mismatches. So I'm telling you right now, if I would have took this to say, if I say I would have took this to like my local um, tailor person, I don't think they would have kept all that in mind. They would have just like cut it and try to make it in whatever shape or size they're trying to do it. And they wouldn't have thought about that. So I guess Louis Vuitton, um, they just they have their own standard of things and they they stuck by it even with alterations. So I appreciate that. It's something to keep in mind in the future, especially if it's for jackets or something even complicated that you may not even think. I'm trying to get this jacket off, it's hot. Or something that you may not even think could be altered in, in the way that I didn't think. You know what I'm saying? Keep your mind or eyes open to that and your possibilities uh because it can happen. And this is the result. I really like it. I like it way better now. If I would have tried this on like this in the store, I wouldn't even made any type of doubt. I would have just went and picked it up. And um, so I'm glad I feel, uh, ended up doing that because I was really like, eh, I don't even know if I want this um, uh, altered from them. I, I don't know how it's going to turn out. And then I'm going to ruin my jacket and all this other stuff. So I'm glad I did it. That's the end of the video. I beat my timer. Before I forget, before I close this out, I want to show you something. It sounds simple, but I didn't know. You see this right here? I only have a couple seconds left. When they when you get this, this is not connected together. It's I, I assume it's like this, okay? You put this together and you just tie it. The problem when you do it like this, even though it's tight, the the tightest is too loose. It's like it's a big whole finger space, right? I did it wrong. So when I was at the store the other day, I realized why it was wrong. You take your strap, one strap, and I'm saying this because if you don't know, like I didn't know, because again, this was not attached when I bought it. You put it through one strap, you put it through this hole. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Now let's do this one hole. Now you take it and you put it over here. Now it reaches the bottom hole like it fits. Hopefully you saw what I just did because I didn't know how to do it, but I knew something was wrong because it's like, this doesn't make sense. Why is it so baggy on here? Okay, so I'm going to just undo it real quick so you can see it. Because I can't tell what y'all seeing. Grab one of, this, grab one of the, um, the handles. Put it through. Try to make sure. Put it through the bottom side. That's it, right? It's tight. Then put this underneath. Then put it through the hole. Tighten it up however tight you want it to. And then it goes through. Now you're good to go. And now, as you see, it's not about loose. It literally fits like two circles. So the, each strap, circular strap or whatever you want to call it, handle, goes through these two equal circles. I had it before where it was just like a round thing clamping on two handles. And it, I, I just knew something was wrong when I looked at it. And I was like, why is this not looking right? Something is not right. I, I knew I have something wrong in the way I'm... Uh, applying this handle so when i was at the store the other day i was looking at another bag and i was like oh wait a minute let me undo this so i can like actually see it make sure you do everything at top level at your top level and remember you're no competition with anybody except yourself so make sure your next move is your best move or at least your better move till next time later